Welcome back kids. Today is part three of the ATC install series. Today I'm installing the four inch wide drag chain on my X axis. Let's get with it. Get these hoses off here. Ah, oh, man, broke my clip. Oh well, I won't need it anymore, but those are uh, clips from Rowdy Roman. I'll have a link to his Etsy store in the description below. I'll just ignore that timber wolf howling. Right. Okay, get out of the way. All right, we got to get this drag chain off here so. One of the first things I gotta do is take it loose right here. Try not to get my arm in front of the camera, but kind of tight in there. All right, got that. Now, I just need to start popping loose those links in there. Those closure links. Show you up close how to pop those off of there. There's your top closures. Each one of them has that little slot underneath them. You just stick you a small screwdriver in there and twist it. And pop right up. them all up there so we can get the cables out of there. Right there. Lop them over there out of the way. Now go down here and take take it loose on this other end. These on the left side of the x axis are two and a half millimeter. All right. Okay. And there's our original drag chain. And we're replacing it with this monster. Look at the difference there. Good lord. In hindsight, I don't think I needed the four inch one, but we'll see. All right, these are the three millimeters. I'll have a link to these hex drivers. Super good deal on these on Amazon. You get the American made and then the devil math version. But yeah, cheap too. Anyway, there'll be a link in the description below. That's what they're called. Two lint. Alright, so we got those screws out. And one thing I'd forgotten about is there are no screws on the far end down there. It just slides up in a slot. So once you lift this out with that little ledge there, you just pull it out. Just see how easy it was. <laughs> just had to hold my mouth right. But yeah. So there anyway, that's that's done. Let me lay it out of the way. 
And the next thing we got to do is install these brackets here. And we got to take these two nuts loose, and this will just slide up on there. So let's get that done. All right, this the bolt head is four millimeter, and I have a five sixteenth inch wrench here that fits that perfect, but I'm sure it's not imperial. It's just coincidental that it fits. So it's some kind of, you know, devil mask size. All right, that's the stock the bracket holder there. We will no longer need that. All right, here's the replacement bracket that we gotta put on here. Those two nuts have to stay on there because they're what holds the motor tight against the uh, X axis. So this just has two uh, recessed areas that'll slip right over those nuts like that and then i just replaced the these two nuts two lock nuts and then we'll be done with that All right, we got to install this bracket on the left side. And see right there, it says X left. Got to take this off. Oh, okay. Yeah, that just slides off of there. This has to come off. This is four millimeter. All right. Get that out of there. Now let's put our bracket on there. And it's flat on this side. It'll just slide right up against the frame there. And then it's got the recessed area over here for the nuts. Put this boohickey back on there. We got a threaded insert in this bracket from Ugly Dog. So this will just we gotta kind of work it, slide it up on there. That's what she said. <laughs> put this four millimeter bolt back in there. Now then. All right, here locally, I was only able to get four foot sticks of this, and I need a, around 54 and a half inches. So what I'm gonna do is take 
this is the cutoff that we just did over there on the miter saw. These were left over from uh, putting the drag chain on the Y axis. So I'm just going to use these to make my 54 and a half inches. And the 54 and a half is just close. I will cut it down to size, the exact size, here in a little bit. But right now I just want to get, get it close. 54 and a half right there. Put a little mark there. All right, so I'm going to pop rivet these two pieces together. Okay, I've got 3 16th inch pop rivets, so I'm gonna drill a couple 3 16th inch holes in here. Let's see, right there will be a good start. in there just like that oh it's been ages since I used this thing Whew. I ain't as strong as I used to be <laughs> either but anyway that did that let me show you on the back side ain't gonna mount to nothing ain't gonna hurt a thing all right, let me put another one on there. Drill another hole right quick. got both of the angle angle pieces in the brackets Okay, when I did this on my Y-axis drill through here, I ended up breaking that bracket. So, I'm going to try to do a little better this time. Offer some support from beneath. I'm going to put one out here. There's no need in risking breaking that bracket. It ain't going nowhere. All right, this is the factory bracket from the drag chain. Just got to remove that so we can put the big one on there. Okay, this is uh, the traveler for the drag chain. This came from Ugly Dog. 
from experience now is the time to start flipping these little uh, doohickeys here off because we're going to load the all the cables and stuff in here so but then once I do that then this just clips in place here I'll go ahead and show you what it's gonna look like right there how cool is that all right that's it for this one my next step is installing the ATC spindle and I've almost got that done but that'll be on the next video. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you in a few days. Okay this is the traveler that comes with the uh this is three two one.